Hi guys, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents and I hope you're all well today. The sun is out and I'm outside standing in about 0.7 of an acre of property and just in behind me is a magnificent newly built property back in 2016 um, coming onto the market today with Lock and Key. And what can I tell you? This is why I love Melcham and I love my job because you don't get to see these properties, I do. Uh, and it's going to be an amazing property to sell and put on our books. Uh, what can I tell you about Doric House? It's 3,100 square foot of contemporary modern living. Uh, all thought and design that's gone into it is it's just pure class. Um, usually I tell you a bit more about the property. You know I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to talk about the amenities and stuff. But look, I'm just going to tick now. Double garage. You could have separate living accommodation in there. You've got the most beautiful open kitchen. You've got your you've got your your downstairs loo and your utility rooms. You you've got um, a self-contained area if you want it for an elderly parent. You can convert the garage. There's rooms upstairs with bedrooms, and then you've got the most amazing bedrooms inside this property. All of them have got en suites. You've got underfloor heating downstairs. You've got an amazing living room. But that doesn't stop because it opens up into another, let's call it a snug because it's bigger than that. It could be a family room with a pool table or, or whatever. You're then on the edge of town and then you're sat uh, romantically and handsomely in about 0.7 of an acre with just fields around you. And we'll talk about the outside. Oh, and let me let, just tell you about parking. Um, you could put, let's say 10 cars. I'm not going to say 20, that's an exaggeration, but good 10, even 15 cars on the drive. It's got everything this property um, has to offer. So, as you know, with my tours, I'm going to flip it around. This camera, this video today will do all the talking. It's not going to be on the market long. There are going to be people from coming from all over the world, moving back to England. It's going to suit that family coming from London that want the space around them and the views. And there has there are some stunning views here, guys. It's going to suit somebody upsizing. I don't think downsizing, but there are people that we meet that want to downsize this property. You know, it, it fits that bill. So what I'm going to do, let's just spit, let's just spin the camera around. Then I'm going to show you a bit out of, of the outside, but then start to walk down there back into Doric House, 3,100 square foot of property. Um, and let's enjoy this video, this property tour today. But let's let's start it from now. And here we are. Before I go and walk down there, I just want to just pan the camera around. I'm in, say, the middle section of the rear garden today. And it's great to have some fresh air. Just turn it around. And just there, you can see its boundary. Just that gate, that fence line there. So we've worked out, I mean, it could be 0.65 an acre. It could be 0.7. You know, it's there or thereabouts. And of course, you've got the views just going over there to see barge pub down there and the canal walks you've got everything on your doorstep now with Bower Hill Lane Bower Hill Lane is a lane that just comes off Bower Hill basically you go up a track and then you come into this property it's one of the last properties of this lane there's a couple of others there's a farm up there and there's a couple of others up there so great for dog walks amenities you can get to the pub you get to the canal fabulous for that if you want to drive back into Bower Hill, I mean, there is a petrol station just over there. You know, this then links you all the way up to Devizes, so you can get to Devizes that way. If you wanted to go to Chippenham or if you wanted to go to Trowbridge, you head over to the A3, um, A3 you can get to the A303, but you go onto the, the A30 road, and that takes you to Warminster, Westbury, Trowbridge. Or you can go back down, and then that will take you to, say, the Asda Roundabout. You can turn left to Broughton Gifford, or further on, you can go to Trowbridge, where it splits off from there, or you can go straight on to Chippenham. And let's say you have a decent run on the roads, like you can get to the motorway from the M4. 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, whatever, you know, depending on traffic. So the amenities are there. You've got, you can get to the, you've got amenities to the scene school, independent schools, you know, state schools. It's all here on your doorstep, guys. So you've got a fabulous location with Melksham. It's on the edge of town anyway, so you're not, there's nothing around you really. So you're basically semi-rural. And, you know, you, you can get about to, you know, five, six other towns that are on your doorstep and the countryside. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk around the front. I'm just going to stop the transition here. Uh, I'm going to walk around to the front of the property and then we're going to make our way into it. 
And before I do, I'm just going to give you another look across. We're going to we're going to take more time outside as we walk, but I just want to show the size of this patio. It's amazing. I mentioned to you it was built in 2016, Doric House. Um, this is a lifestyle move for, for these guys. They're going to downsize and find something smaller. Uh, they don't need the, this now. The kids are grown up and, and stuff like that. What a fabulous point. And you, anybody that gets to view this, and there'll be plenty of people viewing, will love this area. That is a showpiece area, let me tell you that, with those views. So I just want to come across. I just want to show you the size of this patio as well. Some outbuildings we'll talk about later. I'm just going to walk through here. I guess it was a farm, side gate. You can see a couple of cars there. We talked about the parking. And before I go inside, now you can see, I didn't really want to exaggerate, but there's two cars there. You can put another two there, that's four. And then you can start to, to work the math. Absolutely incredible. In the front of the building, there you can see there's the, the double garage. And as I just walk around, we can't have a back without a front. Look at that handsome double fronted build there. Double garage. Accommodation there as well. Marvellous canopy storm porch. Look at the brickwork as it's been built. Of course some views for you. It's still there. So that's the way we're going to go through that door. So how, as promised guys, Doric House, lovely open canopy porch. Look at the brickwork. Step onto here. Solid door as you go in. And then look what we come into. I always turn the camera around, so I'm just gonna do that before we start to really get into this kitchen, but that's that front door, tile flooring throughout, and then it's all about living. You've got your underfloor heating, the amazing units and cupboards you'd expect with a property like this. They're all integrated with dishwashers, washing machine, everything. There's a water softener, you name it, it's staying with this property. But what a magnificent place to start your day if you wanted to. You're going to sit down there, you're going to see Nige, usually with a bowl of cereal. I'd have a glass of wine right now. I mean, it just opens it up to, to everything one would expect a property like this to have. And look at that center island there. And just look at the finishings as we go around with the spotlights, units, beautiful windows opening up. And that staircase, that this turning staircase, it really is a feature which we'll show you later. Here are the areas which we talked about, dishwasher, water softener, and of course fridge, freezer, all built in, ovens, you'd expect that too. And as I just tease this camera around, you've got these beautiful bifolding doors. And of course, just to tease you further, because we've been outside, where are you gonna do the entertaining? It's gonna be sat here, again with your family, bring them over there last Easter. You can see the kids running around grandchildren running around, depending on the size of your family, but this is what it's made out of. But if not, you have a quiet moment, wine. It's even a little area over there where you can just curl up and enjoy the evening sun as it comes all the way over. But that's at a later stage. I just want to go back into this kitchen and just show you the angles. But to be honest, this camera will do the talking. You can see the workmanship of those stairs as it starts to turn and take your way into that next level. But sometimes words defy the camera, but this will not lie. What a superb, superb kitchen we have here. And this is the point of these tours. We get a lot of compliments about our video tours and our property tours, and it's there to demonstrate the possibilities. And that's my job, just to give you that extra bit of information that's gonna be needed, and especially with properties like this. And it's an honor to sell these properties. We can't do it without our clients. Um, and we've dealt with these clients before. They're amazing people, wonderful people. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just a delight to have this on our books and we can't thank them highly enough. So as we can see, there's obviously plenty of units around this kitchen, plenty of dining areas for the family to sit. You can start to see there's an area inside here 
and that's going to link into a further room but before i get into there i just want to turn this camera around stop it there because i want to go through this section first before i do that section so turning right to the camera i'm just going to show you again as i came in through this front door what a magnificent size there which is i mean you'll see this on the floor plan but i'm just going to go through there stop the transition and have a look at the the little utility and the extras that are in there so as we just walk along what i'm going to do is start my way into this utility area and again you can see we're a toilet flooring underfloor heating continues and there's some extra space in here there's also a door that comes into that so that rear i'm just going to close this door because you can see again perfect example of an area people might have dogs kids you can wash them off in here before they get to to get to go into the property so it's a perfect addition this room so let's just open this door and of course you can see tile flooring cloak room decent size low level wc wash hand basin ladder style chrome radiator style thing you know that's a radiator and then it goes into that shower so it's actually a shower room downstairs anyway and again this is where you can wash your animals if you've got dogs most people you know we're animal lovers would have dogs and cats or even children there's an obscure window that just brings in that natural light and this is an important section which i wanted to focus on now because i believe if you've got an elderly parent coming from this kitchen that we've just seen here there's your kitchen and that door there's also a door here now this is a utility area okay it can be self-contained little access there to loft space by the way there's another door and before i go into this door there which will link you to the garage let's just imagine we had an elderly parent if you wanted to convert that carriage you could and i'll talk about that in a minute but i just want to go upstairs because also this works before we get to the main house for let's say a younger lad you, you know a teenager girl boy you know your daughter your father uh, your, your, your son and it opens up into a, a little cool living area they get a bit more space for that so there they go this area is the bed in here you've got some built-in wardrobe space space into the eaves they've got this wonderful view they're going to enjoy but you know as kids get older they want their independence they want to be cool show off with their friends game a little bit all the things you'd expect and then you've got this area it's a radiator all within the confines of the property and we haven't even started to even scratch the surface yet of this property but how cool is that so you can see why I'm saying, I know it's maybe a more mature teenager, uh, or they could be in their 20s, they still live at home, and you know they can't all afford a house, they have to save. So you can get them saving this way. And then it's even got its own bathroom or ensuite, whatever you want to call it. Look at the tile flooring. I think this is really, really cool. This is a great addition to the property. And it's so well thought out, so intelligent because you've got the main house you can entertain, but you've also got these extras. I just, I can't take my hat off, you know, um, enough with these, you know, with these clients because they think things through. They're very intelligent, they work it out. And I'm just gonna show you one more time, kitchen area, kickback area. Nice Velux windows bringing in that natural light, TV, bedroom, whatever, kitchen, ensuite. So that's the upstairs to where that inner passage came from that utility room. We went upstairs. Let's take a look at that double garage while we're, while we're here. And as promised guys, coming back down, we'll go down the stairs. Just want to pop that camera out because you know what that view's like. Tick, tick, tick. There's nothing but ticks with this property. I mean, everything is just perfect. Uh, I cannot fault it. And I, I don't think I've ever said that in 25 years, in fact. So I'm saying it today. You cannot fault this property. Doorway. And this is the area that could also be looked at. Double glazed. And look how easy this, if you wanted it into a gym, you don't need it in office. There's office space in this property. You could create it into an office. But just imagine if you had an elderly mum or dad. You've got the door going into the utility. You don't need the upstairs. 
This could be also the living accommodation. The thickness of the walls. Let's check these out. Bang on these walls. Thick. Still got a view. Got double glazing. Double glazing. Door. Doors, windows. I think you're going to get the idea. There's a little cupboard in there. There's some solar panels. It brings in, say, a couple hundred quid or 250 quid a year. A little bit of income. Pays for itself, doesn't it? So there are some solar panels with this property. And let me open it up just so you get to see what's in here. The alarm. And then you can see how that works. Don't want to go into too much detail. Of course, you've got your, your boiler as well. But I always like to show where those things are. So there's the idea if this needed to be converted, but if you like your bikes, you want your storage, you want your double garage. Oh, another thing, you could put a timber garage up there. You could put a carport up there. Don't need a garage. You could even <laughs> try and get another garage, convert this, build another garage, whatever. The options are there for people. I just wanted to point those out because uh, I think that's quite important. Coming back through, so into this passage. Remember that is that upstairs accommodation just there. We're gonna come through this utility room door there that gives you another access point to make it self-contained if you want. And you've got that downstairs, Lou. And let's look at their wine cellar. Yeah, they haven't drank much this week because you can see that's pretty stocked as well. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is just come through back through the kitchen. And this was the starting point, if you remember. Through the kitchen. And let's start to enjoy this tour downstairs because we come into this most amazing living room now. Um, you can call it sitting room, living room, family room. Um, but what a brilliant room this is. And look at the deep sill, window sills, and this lovely, these windows bringing in their natural light. You pop your head out there, you've got this wonderful width of the patio entertaining there. Little garden area if you wanna make, you know, uh, a bit of veggies or your plants and stuff. There's a greenhouse trellising that's attractive and that then goes into that garden a bit deeper. What a wonderful aspect that is. Everything's thermostatically controlled. So you control the flooring, you control the heating from each room. Perfect. Areas there for sitting. Obviously you can put seating, seating, seating. Yet again, another continuation of those windows. Look at the size bringing them in. And of course, you've got a centerpiece there from that kitchen. Mantle, you can use the fire, don't have to. It's entirely up to you. I don't think these guys do much. Or if they do, it may have, may have been in the winter, but we've got enough heating that's going along. All the halogen spotlights are in the ceilings as one would expect, but what a well-lit room and it's a decent size. And then it carries on. Before I go in here, I just want to turn that camera around because you need to see this. It's, look at the depth, uh, really good depth. Really good depth, that windowsill. Dual aspect room, pretty cool. I'm gonna call this the games room, the snug, the family room. I can see a pool table in here, an arcade game, kids playing. I can see another table, dining room table. I can see that nothing here and they're just the bifolding doors open. I mean, I'm, I, you, you kind of, you've got options and you, you, you can kind of do what you want. Look at the size and the vault of that. So you can see it better there as the brick walling comes through. And of course it just seamlessly opens into areas. So from that big kitchen, that utility kitchen, into that living room and into this games room, let's call it. I can see cool guys with their pool table showing off, you know, with their mates and beers. Hey, you could have, it's a cinema room. You could be really boring. You could just block all this off. You could put paint, whatever. I just don't think you need to. But when I say boring, why? Don't need to. And of course, by folding opening doors, and you know what's out there? So we've been out there already. Don't really need to open those up. And that guys, in a nutshell, is the ground floor accommodation. And so look, I hope you've enjoyed the tour as much as I have so far. The next stop is upstairs. Let's look at that beaut the, 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 the brooms are beautiful, the en suites. Everything you'd expect. There's another surprise upstairs as well. So I wanna show off this property. So let's have a look upstairs and go from there. 
And as promised, guys, I just want to quickly recap because you thought there, there was a lot to take in coming in from the kitchen into that. There's a shower room from the kitchen into that utility, those stairs going up into that area there, maybe for an elder, elderly son, daughter, whatever, and that double garage in there. And not to forget, so we don't want to forget as well, obviously you've got these bifolding out to the view and then dual aspect and then in there, let's call it the games room, but living room. So what we're going to do, we're going to head on up and please guys take this bit in. Let me just pop the, so you can see the height, balustrade. There's going to be rooms that split left to right. And I just want you to take it in. Just at this moment, don't think about anything apart from what I'm showing you now. I'll trade anyone's lounge in Melchim and I'll say they would like this. Right in this moment in time as Nigel's walking through and I'm gonna sit down on the sofa and that's my view. Fields, fields. And let's turn this around so you can see what's been created here. In fact, there's actually more, you could create more. I'm gonna not talk about too much yet, but you could even go in the roof and create more. But let's just take a step back. <laughs> I mean, you've got these living rooms downstairs, okay? You've got the reception rooms. But I'm sorry, I'm, I'm here. I'm cuddled up with, with the missus and I'm not moving. I, I, I just, you know, this, it lets in light, it lets in heat. Look at the size of these windows. They're not tiny windows. This is the expense, this is the thought, this is the cleverness of this property. Just wanted to show you that and walk one more time. And I wanna talk about the area. Very important, people might not know Melksham. There's some borders here. You've got the road that goes along up to Devizes. Then you've got this plot that you can see the boundary. Now, there is some mute, muted work that could be going on in the next, I think 2000 and, I think it said 28 if it gets passed. But there's a potential bypass that goes over there. Not here, not there, but over into the next field. You could say another 500 meters, so where that goes. Now, if they put a bypass there, it's gonna take a lot, a lot, I mean, if they pass it, there's three routes for Melchim. This is one that they're trying to, to look at to um, say, you know, it could happen. But then they've got to build it. And how many years would that take with more housing? So you, you could be looking at 10, 20, 30, 40 years away, if it ever gets passed. And as promised, starting from this, I'm just pulling the camera back, guys, back into this area. Look at the, <laughs> the depth, they're really thick. Look at these windows, I just have to show you that again. Master bedroom, let's go through here. I wanna take a look left into one of the smaller bedrooms. It's a double, double bed. A bit more access there. Come in, you know you've got your windows. I'm not gonna show these views. You've seen these views, you know what's out there. And in case you didn't, you missed everything. Well, there we go. Have another look. It's a bit to look at. All right. Deep window sills, as you'd expect, cupboard. And in here, and all the bedrooms have en suites, three of them. Low level WC, wash and basin, tile flooring, shower cubicle, screen, extractor fan. Still got shaver points, gentlemen or ladies. That's a good thing. And a little double glazed obscure window, bringing in light. Come back out. And if you wanted to, there's a, you can see an access to loft space. Shall I tell you something? You could, and it's easily done, chip away. I'm gonna step back a minute. Go up through there, put stairs in, and in there there's a big void. There's a big void in there. You can make another bedroom. So you could have then, uh, you know, I mean, where do you go with it? There's still opportunities with this property. And that's why I do these tours the way I do, just to show you there's more if you want it, if you've got the money and you want it, and you can show off a view. There's already a Velux window, I think, up there already and stuff, so, you know. Just, a, just an idea if you want to make the bedrooms. 
Coming back out into another double bedroom. Again, you can see bed, toys, nice windows as one would expect, deep window sills, radiators there. And then you've got, you know, it's just great. You've just got this, and then you've got your cupboard. And as promised, turn around. Got these wonderful thick doors, and you're into another ensuite shower. Cubicle or shower, with a shower screen, nice tiling, etc. Etc. I think you've got the gist of what this property is about. And it does get better because as I come out of this bedroom, come back out here. Let me just stand here again. Get what I'm saying. Beautiful. Through here. Woo! Look at the size of this room. Another bedroom. Windows. Look at this. They're shaped differently, but they're double glazed. Deep windowsill, windows, natural light. Look at that ceiling deck, you know, the pitch in there. You know, if you're if you're a 17 foot giant, you'll you'll be okay. If you're a five foot nothing, five foot nine, I think I am Hobbit, um, you're okay. But you know, plenty of height, natural height, all joking aside, bedroom, plenty of furniture that can go all around this. The finishings on the radiators are there. And then you come into here and the lady and gentleman either side, although I'm sure the lady will pick more from the gentleman's side than the gentleman will pick from the lady's side. Only joking, but you've got a built-in fitted wardrobes, walk-in wardrobe area, which I think you'd all agree. It's quite cool to show you again. I'll open one up so you can see what's going on in there a little bit. I don't like to open too many wardrobes. Little dressing area there. And then you come back out and then you're into your main bedroom again. Your two windows. I mean, you've got these hideous views. Awful. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna like that. I mean, it's just, just crazy. It's a crazy house, crazy, crazy. Beautiful on the side, views. <laughs> I mean, it's just go, they go right out towards those hills and fields and scene and scene cleave and whatnot. And then just to wrap this off, you've got their bathroom and it's a big one. Panel bath, shower cubicle, tiled, sprinkler shower head, tiled flooring is, is what you'd expect in the Maldives. And I say it because I just know it, you know, and you've got your t his and hers, Say no more, Bath. Beautiful people that own this beautiful house. Um, stunning. I'm one happy agent today. And I've had a lot of book properties on my books over the last 25 years, so I will always keep getting excited on instructions, whether it's a flat, four bed house, or a farm, or whatever. I'm always excited. But equally, I'm excited about this. That's the final room, guys. I'm pretty exhausted. I think that we can all say it ticks the boxes, maybe. So three en suites up here to recap, double bedrooms. I don't know what the pitch is, just high. All the en suites, and then look. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna finish with it here. You'd expect that, because I've got to go outside yet and finish this off. And then, as promised, guys, if I just take a step back, just so you can see how big that window is. That's the room. This is the room. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour upstairs. I'm just gonna pop you outside. We're gonna just have a look at the gardens and finish off this amazing property, Doric House. And as we come through, and come through this kitchen, and we come through into the dining, what they've done, they've built an amazing patio, full width basically, and it actually goes right up to to this um, this outbuilding there, but you can just sit outside here, and it just continues this. So I'm just going to let the camera do the talking, if you don't mind. I'm, I'm pretty tired. I'm tired in a good way. So side access. areas look planting if you like your garden different each time 
Marvellous. And it doesn't just finish there. Again, you always find little treats and there's little extra bits to everything. And we talked about potential office. Well, I got one. Let's say you work at home, you're in IT, you work for a bank or you, you work whatever, and you, you know, you work for the NHS or, um, you don't need to be at the Shard anymore in London. And do you know why? You can do it from here. Apart from the many rooms that you've got to, to play with in there, you've actually got, they call it the Bat House, which is cute. Massive timber structure. This is their chill out area. By folding doors again. Power points, get those outside. And it wouldn't be unimaginable, would it, for this to be an office? A gym, but a chill out room for them. Halogen spotlights, all powered up, double glazed. You could leave the door open if you wanted to work from home and you're still within the curtilage of the grounds of your property, the children, if you've got children, your husband, if he's whining or your wife, if she's, you know, she needs help uncorking that bottle of wine. Just here. Wow. And it doesn't end there. So that could be used as it is now. Just sit back. The sun comes from, by the way, it goes all the way around. So, I mean, I'm going to look at my watch now. So we're, we're approaching, say, midday. It's only April, sun's up there and it's going to come around and around and around. Then it just pops over there. But you get all this sun, you know, most of the day. And then it will filter out in the front and the seating areas in the front. But as I walk along the side, you might have a little ride on lawnmower. You want to pop it in here instead of the garage. Oh, look, ride on lawnmower. Clever boy, clever boy. So you kit it out. And let's say you, you're busting for a, a wee. So you've been out here for two hours, sunbathing, because you don't want to do the garden. <laughs> There's a little door there. And honestly, honestly, it's also a toilet. I mean, really? Come on, outside toilets don't exist, do they? You know what they do here at Doric House. Doric House, very, very unique property on the edge of town, semi-rural. 4.7 of an acre, sat in magnificent gardens. And approximately just over, but it's about 3,100 square foot of contemporary living right on our doorstep in Melcham, but far enough away for anyone to enjoy this lifestyle purchase and move and I think that's it in a nutshell I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far and all of the tour I hope you're all well I really look forward to hearing from you it's Nigel at Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents on 01225 707342 um, enjoy it and then please get in contact this property isn't going to be on the market that long it's a very fluid market we will do all the viewings we can and then obviously it's up to you guys so I really hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to hearing from you